Alright, so this team right here just uses two moths and a mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane. Uh, moths are very good if you're lucky. If you're going against a team that's not like super top tier and meta, uh, because moths can pretty much outspeed anything, and Moth Dust has a 25% chance to put the target to sleep. So, with a flying type pet who always goes first, you know, like 90% of the time, uh, if you get the sleep off, it'll interrupt him for that turn and then carry over to the next one. Even though a sleep breaks on damage, uh, that's fine as long as you're not using like backline damage or dots, which this team doesn't use. So you basically get two free turns to attack him if you get a sleep. And that's, that's basically the strategy of moths is just hoping for a sleep. <laughs> if you get a sleep, that is huge, and you're basically two turns to attack him with Impugny. If you don't get any sleeps, which is very often, because 25% chance is not a big one, you can still probably do well, because Moth does still just, just hit normally hard, and it has a chance to hit harder than normal, so it's a good move. Uh, I have two Moths, both of them have Alpha Strike, but I have like a, a swap up between them with one with Cocoon Strike to block damage, and the other one with Counter Strike just to interrupt damage sometimes. Usually you want to use Counter-Strike after a Moth Dust because it will apply the Resilience debuff to them. And they won't go to sleep if they're under Resilience, so Moth Dust first. If they don't get the sleep, then you could just use Counter Spell, I guess. Uh, and then I just have MPD in here as a cleanup pet. Because he's just a solid cleanup pet. Alright, so... Is it a bleed team? Yes, it's a bleed team. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start with one of my Moths. Moths should have a good match up against pretty much everything. Let's hope for some sleeps. Moth Dust right off the bat. Moth Dust off cooldown. And then Moth Dust as much as possible. Oh, put him to sleep. Cool, I'm going to go for an Alpha Strike next instead of a Cocoon Strike. Even though it is nice to have Cocoon Strike on cooldown. <laughs> Dang, that <laughs> hit really hard too. Alright, a Snarly. I should probably go for a Moth. Cocoon Strike now, in case he tries to go for a Surge or something. Okie dokes. Yeah. Looks like he tried. He's going for Surges for some reason, instead of applying a Rip and trying to swap out. I guess he's trying to deny me extra hits on my Alpha Strike. I mean, I guess, but you're taking so much damage from me that it's not worth it. You should have swapped out right there. Okay, Amber Moth, are you going to take out his whole team? Man, just one Moth Dust <laughs> completely screwed over that Death Watch Hatchling. And I have my Cocoon Strike next. Neither of his pets are fast enough. If I go low, below 50% health, I'm still faster than both of his pets. Which is neat. I do kind of rely on speed. Because you want to go first with Moth Dust, because it'll give you two turns to attack him if it... Uh, puts him to sleep because it'll interrupt him for that turn and then carry over to the next one Oh, he's not doing anything Did he DC? Maybe? Oh, he went for a mall, huh? I don't think he really knew what he was doing Plus, he was like super countered because he was just reliant on beast damage and he had an aquatic type pet. And both of my moths take less damage from beast damage and do more damage to aquatic type pets, so I had a really good counter to him. Alright, so it's this guy again. Poor guy. Getting queued into me back to back. Alright, so let's go for a moth dust right off the bat to see if I can get a sleep. No sleeps, okay. Hopefully the snap trap doesn't go off right away. Hopefully it doesn't go off ever. <laughs> it just stays for all four turns. That would benefit me greatly. Man, if the trap just ever goes off, that's going to be bad news for me. Oh! Well, our pup died. While I'm still at a pretty high health, but the thing is, once the trap goes off, it'll make up for all of his deaths and shit. Alright, don't go off now. And actually, Moth Dust, I want you to also put him to sleep and hit on the high end. Oh, none of that? Okay, none of that. That's fine. Oh shit, him being faster than me is actually pretty bad. Oh, that's not gonna last. Okay, counter spell. 
interrupt him for a turn and get my fast alpha strike off. Is he going to go for another leap? Nope, he's just going to throw up his sleep. Moth dust, hopefully trap doesn't go off. Man, unlucky for him. <laughs> the trap has lasted so long without going off. Oh man, moths are too strong. Oh no, it went off! <laughs> now that it matters. <laughs> Alright, now just one more moth to kill his snarly. And game over. And it put him to sleep too. Oh shit. Alright, let's do some more damage with Cocoon Strike. Oh, poor Snarly. He should be able to get some damage off if he spans Surge before dying, but this is game over. Game over. Oh, wow. <laughs> no damage. I didn't think he wouldn't go for at least a Surge out of spite. That's what I would do, it's like, I'm not gonna let you kill me without taking any damage. <laughs>